good night guys welcome back to my youtube channel and i'm saying good night because it's night here this video will be uploaded daytime anyways i have been mia for about a month i came back home i had to do two weeks quarantine and i just was not feeling it and i want to be genuine when i'm doing videos so as the title suggests, tonight we will be unboxing my new TV and I'll give you more on that shortly. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, good to see you. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell because you don't want to miss any new content. This is the box the TV came in. I got this at Concept Appliances. They have locations in Kingston. I believe they have one store in Kingston. They have a small store in Spanish Town and they have two locations in Old Arbor. To be honest, I furnished my entire house from Concept Appliances. If you have the time you can go ahead and check them out in Ozaba they are located at Dong Dong Plaza that's on South Street and also Gateway Plaza they are reasonable and believe me they will work around your budget so this is a smart TV right and the brand is Elite and we know we have a lot of new brands coming out not the regular Panasonic and Samsung and so on that we are used to but because your girl don't have Samsung money, Elite is going to do it. The, this is a 58 inch LED TV. It has a lot of features such as Bluetooth. It has a 8 gig flash memory, six, um, 1 gig RAM. Um, it uses Wi-Fi and you're seeing all the things here that you can actually get on it and today when i purchased this i actually had them install some stuff and i signed into my netflix account to ensure that everything was working so we're going to go ahead and open this up now guys don't judge me me couldn't bother go find the scissors i may have scissors i just couldn't bother I'm going to use one knife. Okay, so it's open at the top. I'm going to ask my other half to help me get this out of the box. So I realized at the top, remember, I saw some stuff in the box today. So I am seeing the feet for the TV. A bit worried because I'm not sure if it's gonna fit on my TV stand, but let us see.
lovelies, as you're seeing, the TV is actually standing on the floor because it cannot hold on the stand that I have had. So the TV I had before, I don't remember how much inches it was, but the stand was actually in the middle. It was a Panasonic, so it was not hard. But this TV is in fact bigger. So I would not expect it to have one stand in the middle base on the sides. So it can't hold on the stand. So now we are trying to figure out something in terms of what we are going to do so that it is it can hold my ear stuff you know. I had future plans to buy a new stand, but I thought that this would have been able to do the job for now but doesn't seem that way okay guys so this was just stressful so we had to move the center piece which this is actually my center table that the tv is now on so it is on the center table so we had to switch locations so now we'll have to consider getting a new TV stand, which was which it was in our thinking processes, but we didn't think we would need one so soon. But the TV cannot hold on it, and as I said, it's 58 inches. So the TV came with three remotes. It came with two of these, and it came with this little. Like this is like a little a little mouse and it has the part that you would plug into the TV and I have the batteries for this even though I have like um, something like a mouse already like a key keyboard I prefer using that but I'm just going to try it out with this one and then I just switch over to the little keyboard that I normally use I realized that there was an extra piece at the back. I'm wondering if it's for this. So I'm going to go ahead and check that out just in case it came with two or three little mouse things. So I'm going to go ahead now and turn on the TV so we can see what the quality is like. Turning off the lights. Oh, so far, so good. It looks fine. Oh, the press this and it's like it's all. Okay, then. So it seems that like this can turn it off. And you can turn it on too, okay. So it's coming on again. I did not know that this one, this is the one could actually turn it off. So we've got this. So I'm going to go ahead and Okay, and I'm seeing is this TVJ I'm seeing because normally the TV that I had before did not pick up TVJ, so this would mean that this TV has a built in of noise YouTube, and then that's another thing I did not connect the TV to the internet. So let me just exit out of here and connect it to my Wi-Fi. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I connected it to my internet. And it's below, because I fit in Concept Store Internet because they actually did some setup for me today, which that was really good. So I'm trying to get to home. And I guess these are 
some YouTube stuff that I'm seeing here. So I'm going down to my apps and see what's up. Put my favorite app, of course, Netflix. guys this is it for the video thank you so much for tuning in it has been a while don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and share and i will see you soon because i'm about to keep those videos coming twice a week because i need to make up for when i was missing so thanks again guys and enjoy the rest of your week